styles of music. Uh, we'll be beginning with Hindustani and then continuing with Carnatic music. This will be a lecture slash music presentation and there will be slightly more music than lecturing. I uh, hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions you can come talk to any of us after the program. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna start the concert with the Hindustani segment and it's going to be followed uh, by the Carnatic segment that the girls are going to sing there. Uh, so, Hindustani um, literally means that which belongs to Hindustan, which is the ancient um, wo like name of India. Um, the style of um, music is predominant in, uh, in, in northern India. Um, most of the compositions are written in Hindi, um, Sanskrit and Bhojpuri and of course in other languages, but these are the main languages. Um, uh, th this form of music um, carries um, emotion as its um, sort of significant um, part. So um, a, a lot of the style um, in the way it's performed, um, the effort is to bring out the emotion very, very clearly. Um, uh, rag and uh, tal are, are two most important elements of Indian classical music. Um, these concepts are common to both Hindustani as well as Carnatic forms, but um, th there are some significant differences in structuring and how these are carried out in, in both the styles. And hopefully, we can give you a little glimpse of that today evening. As Sneha has mentioned, the two basic elements of Indian classical music are a raga and a tala. A rag is the melodic structure and the tal is the rhythmic element of Indian classical music. A rag can be defined by a set of notes adhering to several rules. There are mainly seven basic notes which can be modified to 12 different notes. And the seven basic notes are called Shuddhaswar, which also means pure notes, the, pure, the notes which are pure. We would like to demonstrate the seven should this world first. Sare Gama Pada Ni Sa is the eighth note, but it's the repetition of the same octave. Sa Re Ga Ma Pa Dha Ni. So these are the seven. Shuddha notes, Sa and Pa are the two notes which do not have any other form. So Shuddha notes remain Shuddha notes. The remaining notes that is Re, Ga, Ma, Dha, Ni which are the five notes have an other form which makes seven plus five a total of twelve notes. We would now demonstrate the other forms of the five notes. Starting with the second note, Re. The Shuddha form of Re is as follows. Sa Re. The common Re is as follows. 
Sare. The difference is Sare. Sare. So this is the difference between Komal Ray and Shuddh Ray. The next swar is Gandhar or Ga. The Shuddha form of Ga is as follows. Sare Ga. The Komal form of Gandhar is Sare Ga. The next note is Madhyam Ma, which has a Shuddha form and a Tevra form. Tevra form is a frequency a little higher than the Shuddha form. The Shuddha form is as follows. Sare Ga Ma. The Tevra form is as follows. Sorry, I just want to add that Tevra is actually sharp and Komal is flat in, in the Western equivalent uh, sign. So it's Sare Ga Ma Ma. is kind of in between the Shuddhama, sorry, Tivrama is kind of in between Shuddhama and Pa. So the sequence is Sare Ga Ma Ma Pa. So Tivrama is in between Shuddhama and Pa. The next word is Dha. The Shuddha form is as follows. Sare Ga Ma Pa Da Komal form. Sare ga ma pa dha. And the next swar and the last one which has a variation is the nishad ni. And the shuddha form is Sare ga ma pa dha ni. and Shuddha. Next, getting into a classical composition which is mainly based on few of these 12 notes which define a rag. And the definition of a rag and the structure of a rag will probably be evident in the flow of this evening. But to start with, a classical composition has two main parts which is a sthai and an antara. Thai is kind of an introduction to the song. Antra is a first stanza. And Thai is repeated several times while we are singing this, singing a classical composition. And since Indian classical music is based on Raga system, the main component while rendering a classical composition would be to elaborate a Raga. And the elaboration of Raga takes place in three different forms mainly three different forms like Swaramalika, Alap and Tan. Swar means the notes, the 12 notes that we have demonstrated just now. A swar malika means a chain of notes. So we elaborate a raga using a chain of notes demonstrated as follows. Dha, pa, ma, ga, ma, pa. So it's a chain of notes which define a raga. The next form is ala, which is mainly an akar, an elaboration of raga in the form of a, as demonstrated as follows. And a tan is a faster version of an ala. It's again done in akar but it's a faster version, mainly accompanied with a faster rhythmic cycle. After this short introduction, we'll get into our first piece, which is a song called Jago Mohan Pyare, which is composed in Rag Bhairav, and the structure of Bhairav would probably be evident soon. And the properties of Bhairav, Re and Dha are the two komal notes, and all the other notes are shuddha. And here is the rendition of.